What is up everybody, this is Omega Belmont back again with another statue and figure unboxing slash review. For today I got a pretty awesome looking statue here from DC Collectibles. Uh, I'm going to show you guys real quick about the box here. This is uh, Batgirl from the New 52, uh, New 52 yeah, where they kind of just changed her look to look a little bit more different and different art style. So. This is the cool looking, I actually really enjoy this suit, so like I said, this is from DC Collectible and let's get started by looking at the box. Alright, so here's a look at the box, you can see the, from the front here, uh, you get a look at the, a closer look at the uh, statue here, uh, of course it's from DC Collectibles, uh, this DC Comics Designer Series, Batgirl from Cameron Stewart and uh, Babs Tar. So the box is a little bit beat up, uh, you can see a little bit of discoloration up here. But that's okay. Uh, we'll see how if the figure, uh, their statue will live through uh, this. But that just looks like maybe it's because of the rain or snow or something like that. It probably got on top of it. Uh, so it, it's a little bit, beat, I shouldn't say beat up, but it's just a little bit of discoloration on the top there. Maybe it's part of the, the, the statue, but I don't think it is. <laughs> uh, then we're going to take a quick look at the side here. And we get a look at another uh, look at the statue there. The statue is actually, I want to say about... Uh, 12 and a half inches tall so uh, there is another statue for uh, for this one but it's a black and white version and then it's a lot smaller I think it's only sitting at maybe seven inches tall so or uh, maybe six and a half to seven inches tall so this is actually a really a bigger size statue about twice the height and then of course it's also colored so uh, I actually had a black and white one uh, pre-ordered, but I was like, eh, hey, I'm not going to get that one and I saw this one and I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely going to get this one so uh, then I'm back to the box here Oh, yeah, look at what's coming out next. This is the Green Arrow and Black Canary uh, statue there. I think it looks freaking fantastic. I think it's sitting at 220, I think so, for the statue itself. So it's a pretty, should be pretty tall. Uh, the fact that it does have two characters in front of there. I'm still on the edge, uh, you know, uh, on the figure, uh, the statue there. Um, I might have to get it because it looks freaking fantastic. But uh, I think it's going to be out maybe sometimes next year of course it's gonna be out sometime next year but i don't know when uh, the exact date is but uh when that time comes we'll, we'll we'll see if i get it or not so and then we're gonna take a look at the side here again this actually shows you the full the full uh statue there like i said it's 12 to blah like wow uh 12.5 uh inches tall with of course uh which is uh, 31 centimeters uh tall so just in case you want to you know if you guys don't use inches, use centimeters. Um, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. So it's a pretty tall uh, fig, uh, statue. I'm a big fan of the height. So uh, we'll see how it looks like when we actually uh, unbox the you know the uh, statue out of the box. So uh, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, folks. Uh, awesome looking fi uh, statue. It did come broken, so I actually just freaking glued the head onto. <laughs> To the, uh, the her head actually came off, so uh, the only she did have a piece of her hair missing, so I haven't you know glued that into yet, but I'm, I'm okay with it, I guess. I as long as it's nothing like nothing chipped too much or anything like that, I think it's fine. Uh, the only problem I have with the DC collectibles is the fact that they are porcelain, so they are super super fragile, uh, fragile, fragile, uh, and it's uh. It breaks a lot. I had a lot of problems with them already, so uh, I don't know if I want to get any more DC collectibles. I might keep away from them, uh, unless it's a figure or a statue that I'm really, really loving. But like I said, it's they come broken too many times. I think it's like a third one, I think so, second or third one so far that came broken. Uh, so I might have to keep away from porcelain. So, but anyways. Uh, figure still looks pretty cool. The purple is not as dark as you can see from uh, the other, the, the, the actually the prototype looking, uh, even on the cover uh, on the box. You don't see that uh, this is more of a lighter purple than that one. That was a real, super darker purple, but I think this lighter purple it could be a little bit a tint uh, darker. I think this was uh, out of uh, 5200. I think this is like 14. Uh, 85 or something like that so uh, I forgot to check that but it's, I remember right it was something like that so uh, still it still looks pretty cool 
I like the base to it. The base looks freaking awesome. It has a little bat uh, sign here, and then of course it's yellow, just like her sh uh, shirt there. Uh, and then the base is pretty tall, so it's a pretty, pretty height-wise, it's pretty up there. <laughs> it's a pretty tall uh, base, and then it's actually a simple base, a circle base, uh, simple, nothing too, you know, too different about that. But I'm gonna do a quick uh, spin of the statue here. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys where it cracked. It kind of cracked on the side here. There's a little tip of her hair actually fell off, so uh, I might have to. I might just actually just leave it alone. And then it's the side there it looks pretty cool. I like the fact that uh, it, she just looks friggin' fantastic through or throughout around, uh, other than you know it being broken. Uh, and then of course I do like how she looks like. I mean her suit to me looks friggin' awesome. Uh, you know she got boots on. Uh, she's very uh, unconventional looking uh, Batgirl, so uh, yeah, like I said, boots, uh, just like it looks like a leather jacket, and of course leather pants. Uh, then these look like they just look like workers' gloves or uh, gardeners' gloves, kind of. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, her cape is kind of just sewed in there like that. Uh, other than that, I mean, there's really nothing bad I can talk about. Uh, I just wish uh, she does have a slight lean though. I think she's supposed to be this way, but I just. I don't know if it's the holes are too big, but uh, she does kind of lean like that, so I have to give uh, a downgrade to that. I can't get her to actually stand straight, uh, so she does have a slight lean to it, which sucks. Uh, but other than that, like I said, I, I do like everything else around. Her face looks decent. I think it's part of her red, uh, part of the, her lips right there are kind of gone, uh, mostly in the top part. I don't know if it's supposed to be red or not, but it looks to be gone. Uh, other than it being broken, uh, that's really not the manufacturer's fault. It's actually probably because it's been shipped and it was been probably, you know, bounced around and like that. But uh, like I said, it is porcelain, so you gotta watch out for that. Uh, you gotta keep your eyes out on porcelain, uh, mostly the decent collectibles, because most of them are, actually I think all of them are porcelain. So you have to watch out for that. Uh, if you buy some of this, I would suggest. And actually, you know what? When I went to my comic book store, they actually said, "Do you want to open it?" And I'm like, "Ah!" But so it's kind of my fault. I'll take fault for that. So, uh, I, like I said, I probably should have let them open it and take a look. But other than that, all the way around, I think she still looks fat, freaking fantastic. Her hair is a little bit rough around the edges. I wish they were a little bit more smoother uh, looking, uh, just like everything else in this statue here. Her hair is a little bit rough. Uh, I like the mask. I like the, I like the sculpt. I like her stance. It's not just you know like a Superman or Batman stance. It's kind of like her own little stance. It's kind of like from the her uh, I think issue one of this suit. I should say not issue one of Batgirl, but issue one of this uh, type of suit for uh, for Batgirl. Uh, but like I said, it's an awesome, awesome, well around uh, fig, uh, statue. Uh, twelve inches, twelve and a half inches tall. Are you looking at? Um, it's, she's sitting about 124, uh, 99. So she's a pretty, pretty uh, expensive uh, uh, statue. And of course, she's porcelain, so that's only one you gotta kind of watch out for. Porcelain tend to break a little bit easier than uh, like PVC and uh, what's the other one? I forgot what the other one's called. <laughs> uh, but uh, you gotta watch out for that. So if you go buy it, I suggest you tell them to open it and see if it's broken or not, so you can take it home. Uh, that's what I would do. Uh, sh I probably should have done that too. So, uh, but like I said, awesome sculpt, awesome. Uh, you know, it looks her stance is cool. Their base is pretty cool too. I like that, just a round base. It fit in, you know, some of my. Um, it's totally filled up <laughs> uh, spaces here so uh, other than that it's broken I mean that's kind of not the sculpt's fault so uh, anyways I think if I was to give this one I'd probably give it about a about an 8 uh, just because uh, the thing that bothers me the most is really her hair and then the fact that she doesn't stand up that straight so uh, she's supposed to stand like this but she kind of leans back like that, so uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll super glue it or something. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Uh, so, uh, but anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video here. Hopefully you guys go out and actually kind of look at this figure. I, this, I think this statue still looks freaking fantastic, uh, and it still looks so cool. I like the I like the, I like this bad girl just because I like the more conventional looking, more modernized uh, suit instead of you know tights and things like that. It's just a more uh, modernized suit. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see everybody next time. Peace out.